Next we have Mr. Nathan Rennie. Okay, I'm gonna leave these glasses on because the newsman said today that the COVID is traveling through eye contact. So it's for y'all's protection as well as the viewers at home. Now, there's a few things that this county needs to move forward, okay? Number one is we need to build an arena to host events, kind of like, uh, you know, Monster Jam and wrestling. You know, wrestling alone, you got mud, jello, uh, you know, arm, even thumb wrestling. There's a niche for all of it. So if we build it, I think we could bring people by the dozens. Number two that this county really needs is all-you-can-eat buffets. And I'm talking a ton of them. I'm talking, imagine a sign on I-70 that says, Lake of the Ozarks, buffet capital of the United States, and then in parentheses, maybe even the Western Hemisphere. Uh, now, what does that mean to you, Joe Taxpayer? That means variety. That means the spices of life. That means two kinds of gravy for you and everybody in your party. That means you can have steak, your wife can be nibbling on some shrimp, and your kids can fill themselves plumb up with pizza. But let's think deeper, okay? Let's think a little bigger. What about a waterfront buffet with a pool and a swim up chocolate fountain? You ever think about that? Okay, so the two things we need to do to make those things happen is number one, vision, and I just proved to you that I have it. And then number two, we probably need to place a tax on everybody's personal property to pay for this private development. Uh, there are some organizations around the lake that that's kind of their thing now. So I figure, uh, you know, if I win, that I could work with them and we'll make sure that happens. Oh, 30 seconds? Okay, um, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rennie.